Hello and welcome back to the Nerd Room. James Sharmack here once again for another brand new Marvel Legends review for you. Now, if I was to tell you that I was looking forward to these figures coming out, that would be a vast understatement. If you've seen my videos way in the past, you know I've talked about these in the Most Wanted episode. I talked about these figures in the uh, upcoming 2019 uh, Look Ahead video. So, I finally got my hands on it. The uh, Grandmaster and the Korg 2-pack from Thor Ragnarok. So these are must-haves for my collection just because I wanted these two characters. So I'm excited to have it. Looking forward to the review. And uh, hope you guys like the review. So uh, we'll do the usual stuff and uh, get right to it. Alright, let's take a look around the box itself. I originally thought this was going to be part of the Marvel 80 line, the 80 years, but... It looks like it has more in common with last year's Studio 10 line than anything. So it might be, you know, a, a figure line that was going to be in it, but, you know, they decided not to. Anyways, very cool uh, window display, obviously. You have the Grandmaster, you have Korg, their accessories, Thor Ragnarok, and big bold letters on the bottom. That side, you have Korg on his side of the box. Back, you have a nice... Uh, Representation of the Thor Ragnarok by teaser poster, I guess. Grandmaster text. If you want to take a pause and take a look and see what it says, there you go. If you want to take a look at the cord, take a pause and take a read. It's, it's too much text for me to do the usual reading. Very awesome picture of uh, Jeff Goldblum as Grandmaster, just you know, looking smarmy there. Have nice Marvel emboss on the top. Which lazy me think obviously I think it was going to be in the uh, Studio 10 line, but I guess there wasn't enough interest or whatever. But they put it out anyways. Happy to have it. So we're going to turn to this box. We're going to do the Grandmaster review first, and now we're going to do Korg. So let's see how it goes. All right, so let's take a look at the Grandmaster figure. What you notice right off the bat is that the, the uh, was the they call it the real scan technology. It's just a dead on likeness to Jeff Goldblum. So, you know, if he doesn't look like Jeff Goldblum, then, you know, then you got the problem. Sorry about getting the, uh, the melt stick in the way. But that's obviously the must-have accessory he has. Since this isn't the San Diego Comic-Con, I don't have the uh, goo, unfortunately, for Bob or whatever. That's disappointing, but anyways, very cool design. Love the sandals on him. The uh, robe is fantastic. The little giveaway the get in the way of the articulation, but he doesn't do much in movies. Not like he's running around. He's just standing around grandstanding, so obviously very cool, so I dig it a lot. Let's just check our articulation just for it sake anyways. Uh, so his head goes back that far, goes forward that far. Oh, it goes way far down. That's crazy. And that goes like that, so you can get a little, maybe some Jeff Goldblum mannerism, so that's awesome. His arm goes up that far. Just uh, obviously, it's a difference because of the arms. All the way around, of course. Uh, bicep rotation to uh, the uh, you know double joint at the uh, elbow, wrist back and forth in rotation. The diaphragm goes back that far, but the robe is limitating. It goes forward. Uh, yes, limitating is a word apparently. Uh, rotation at the waist, at the diaphragm, I guess. No waist rotation if you open up the rope anyways. Legs go apart that far, go forward and back that far. Thigh, ro uh, thigh rotation at the thigh. Double joint at the knee. No calf rotation, but ankle go spins around both ways and ankle pivot, so. That's a pretty cool, so. Digging this figure already, so. Um, as soon as we get him to stand up, we'll uh, take him off and we'll uh, talk about Korg. Hello, I'm Korg. I'm the newest addition to James's uh, Marvel Legends collection. I'm looking forward to being a part of it and being very useful to it. Yeah, that's my terrible Korg, but the Korg figure itself is fantastic looking. Probably one of the taller regular figures I have in the collection. We'll take a look, we'll compare them with like the Hulk later on. But anyways, uh, a little detail on them. Obviously, Korg is made out of rock, but you know, very cool detail. Nice detail on the face. That's awesome. 
Love the armor. The armor is pretty cool. And if we, he doesn't fall backwards, that'll be awesome. So, yeah. I love how, you know, they've worked the past few years to make these the Marvel Legends for the MCU at least look uh, detailed and spot on. So, Korg itself, you know, could be a contender for one of the figures of the year. We'll see how it goes, but we'll, t we'll uh, talk articulation. So Korg's head goes back that far, goes forward that far. It doesn't really go that far, because all head goes around though. Yeah, it does go, but you know, okay, it was tight, so it goes forward and back. Give it a little effort though, because it's very tight under a head. That's going to limit his arm rotation, so then his arm only goes up that far, but that's okay. Goes all the way around though. Uh, rotation of the bicep, double joint at the elbow, and uh, wrist rotation. Doesn't look like he has a back and forth, just looks like an Iron Man rotation. Diaphragm goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around. Rotation of the diaphragm. That legs apart that far, go forward and back that far. Rotation to thigh, double joint at the knee. No calf rotation, but angle pivot and back and forth. So let's uh, get him in some poses, okay, and see how it goes. Now in real life, Jeff Goldblum's a tall guy, so uh, we'll just take a look with the ruler and see how tall he is in uh, figure height. So he's a little bit over six inches. Korg himself is just about seven and a half. So they're both pretty tall, you know, compared to other figures or whatever, compared to say a six inch figure, but we'll uh, take a look with the other Ragnarok figure and see how they match up. And here I have the entire uh, Ragnarok wave of figures that I have from Marvel Legends, including the uh, build the figure Hulk in the back, who towers over everyone. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool? They fit in the collection? Let me know in the comments below. Are these figures you're looking for? Let me know. Guys, I gotta tell you, I love this two-pack. I love the likenesses on the figures, the design. This is a fun pack to have just because for the Jeff Goldblum factor and you know it's hard not to you know break into a court voice when you're doing the review and saying how fantastic the figures are but still if you are a Ragnarok completionist for your line this is a must-have but I will say you know if you you know this should be a must-have regardless just just because if you're a fan of quality of likeness, design, whatever. You know, you should be running out and getting this right now. That's, that is if, you know, you're not getting the uh, San Diego exclusive uh, Grandmaster, but it is what it is. Why not get both? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. This is probably one of my highest recommendations for the uh, wait for the line, I guess. I guess I could say that. Anyways, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I always appreciate your support. I want to thank you guys for actually, you know, watching the couple, the uh, specifically the Iron Man. Kind of surprised how many views I got. But you know, I can always use some subscribers. So if you enjoy what I'm doing, you've seen the Iron Man, you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. I can always use some more subscribers, and I appreciate it. And uh, if you do like this video, hit that like button. Talk to me in the comments below how, you know, if you like the figure, if you don't like the figure, if you like the review, if you don't like the review, let me know. Anyways, uh, we have more figure packs. We have more figures to review. Looking forward to doing them. And uh, anyways, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll never stop saying I always appreciate the views. And uh, keep on collecting and uh, keep up with your hunts.